Hey guys, I'm back from the Crappie Masters Elite Series. Thanks for watching this video. This is everything I have off the Crappie Masters Elite Series. I want to thank our sponsors for it. It was a fantastic experience. I look forward to the next one. I cannot wait. And hopefully the weather is a lot better. Now, Red River was a curveball to us on Friday. So if you don't know, we originally were supposed to fish Cross Lake. And we actually prepped for that pretty well. I actually made an extra trip down there. But Red River, something we're not familiar with. So we struggled, and on top of it, we got rained on every single pre-fish day. So we did the best that we could. We definitely put some fish in the boat. And what I like most about the video that you're about to see is that you see us make a huge improvement over day one. So enjoy it. Thanks again. Please subscribe to Three Pound Fishing. And uh, yeah, a lot of things coming in 2023, and I cannot wait to share it with you. What's up, guys? Welcome to day one of the Crappie Masters Elite Series. And uh, we just got to our spot. Check out the uh, crappie breaks. Are they not a beautiful thing right there? That's really a good picture, actually. But we're just now getting started. We're actually fishing a spot that we didn't catch a fish on, but we saw a lot of crappie. Uh, we, we felt we're crappie. Uh, we just couldn't get them to bite. But we're here, but we know we probably made a decent choice because we've got other boats joining us now. So um, that's where we're starting. And, you know, again, we'll, we're will we gonna have a bluebird day. Check out that sunrise. We have not experienced this yet since we've been here. And uh, it doesn't get much better than this. Crappie Masters Elite Series, without doubt, the number one crappie trail series, I think, out there. It's just awesome to see only 50 anglers, no live bait. That's the story. So stick with us. We're going to hopefully show you guys some great footage today with the, uh, and, and again, always have to say thank you to, to, to the original fish formula. Uh, doesn't get much better than that. We're going to be using that throughout today. You'll see that. And, uh, Appreciate you. Here we go. First fish of the day right there. Good fish. I think that's going to be a good fish today. <laughs> For us, I know. <laughs> Got some fish right there. Going to bring it to the way in here. Good fish there. Yeah, that's good. Is that five? I think so. I think that's five. Woo! All right, guys, hanging out with the guys from Grenada. Who wants to introduce themselves? Chris Steele, <laughs> PJ Prince, Danny McDonald. Some serious crappie anglers out of Grenada, Mississippi. And Danny came and wait to clean his boat. He's already cleaning it. But look at that view. Yeah. Waiting for the weigh in. So, on day one, we ended up with 685. Actually, not a bad number considering we really only had five fish, and I'm telling you, we dropped on a thousand fish. We could not get them to bite. Did not matter what we did hair jigs, plastics every single thing did not work and you could keep it on their nose forever you know that feeling and they just would not move i mean and we weren't spooking these fish either they would be right there six feet from the front of the boat and they just wouldn't touch it and a lot of other anglers had the exact same experience so we felt fortunate after day one that we were in 33rd place uh considering what we went through but on day two we pick it up Welcome to the Red River. Final day of the Crappie Masters Elite Series. And uh, we've already got four fish in the boat. We're about an hour and a half into it. It's gonna be a bluebird day. Doesn't get much better. We're gonna take you along for the ride all the way to the weigh-in, to the final weigh-in. Now we had a poor first day, but we're trying to make up for it and, uh, and have fun. So we're not Red River experts. So if you're watching this video for locations on the lake, this is probably not the boat to be watching, but we will catch some fish for you. Vertical jigging, 
13 footers, sniping braid, the original fish formula. Stay tuned. This is going to be a great, great episode. Boy, that's right there. There we go. Got him. Good fish. Woo hoo hoo! Mike showed off my fish. I'm going to show off his fish. <laughs> well, I was holding it up for you. <laughs> Beautiful. Good job, Mike. That's awesome. That came right out of the mud, folks. Right out of the mud. And there was another one with him, it looked like. But yeah. I don't know if the other one was, but no, either way. Huh? Let it go. I got it. Hog fishing nets. Check them out, guys. Beautiful match your boat. This matches sickness, and I like that. First day, uh, first day of the tournament, we didn't, uh, I won't say that we didn't, it was just a tough bite. We just simply don't know this lake. So it just makes it that much more difficult. Let me give you guys a run through of the stuff that we're, we're using. Now, I've got the new prototype three pound fishing rod in the house. I'll give you that kind of glimpse at it. Absolutely phenomenal. Cannot wait to go into detail about that on another episode. Crappie breaks has been the real deal. That is no joke. It has given us the ability to maneuver ways that we have never been able to maneuver before. Would you not agree with that? Oh, absolutely. It's, I mean, it truly is a plus in terms of controlling your boat. And we all know that that's number one. So other than that, we've got the 8600 series, which is what we're looking at right there. Obviously PTG is uh, the place for that type of stuff. And the cornfield fishing gear mounts are paramount. I love them. So in the Bass Cat, it's, it's been great. We've had some issues this uh, tournament with a uh, trolling motor, basically running up against stumps and stuff like that. Woohoo! Grabbed another one off the ground right there, guys. I hope you got to see that. Having some technical difficulties with the camera, it seems that. There you go. Got him. This one. All right, see? Staying here pays off. Mm -hmm. Good job. He followed that too, man. He what? He followed that one too. Yep. Good job. So we've got some trolling motor, or some motor issues. Let me share with you what's happening. Our trim is stuck in the up position, and they we call it a marina, and they think it's a short somewhere. So we really can't fix it. So in order for us to run, we have to hold the trim button in the down position. Because we're on a river, we don't want to take the risk of the motor getting stuck in the up position, because we could not get back. So we've elected to stay in this cove the entire day, which to be honest with you, I'm okay with. We're catching good fish. That's our first upgrade of the day. It'll cull out a 105 fish. But, so I think we're gonna do well here. We'll have a decent number. Certainly better than yesterday. And so we're having a good time. And the sun is out. How about that, folks? This doesn't get any better. So. That's our steak bed. The steak bed, we've gone to three times and we've gotten, well, we've probably been to it four times, four or five times, and we've gotten three fish out of it. They tend to go back there, it seems like. So we're just gonna keep hitting it <laughs> until they stop showing up. Nobody's been in this cove the entire day. And right now we're sitting at 12 at noon. We've got basically two and a half hours left to fish. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I'm gonna bring you to the weigh-in. Hanging out before the, the actual weigh-in. They're doing it live. Just hanging out the boat with the Grenada boys again. They are actually in 12th spot for upgrade. They pay the top 10. So, I think they're gonna make it. I like the blue writing as well. A better
here today, it feels like on day two. The fish good and alive. 12.27, 12 12.27 12 from Matt and Mike. You guys, you got a big fish you want to weigh? All righty, hold a couple of those out for me. We'll do some talking with you. Here on stop number one, top day one, the bounce back with a good bag here on day two. Matt, guys, what's going on on the river right now? Well, let me just tell you that uh, yesterday we kind of struggled. Uh, the fish on the wood was not biting for us, and uh, today we kind of changed tactics a little bit and went a little deeper and found some fish in the mud, and that was kind of what we did. But we don't know the river. This is our first time here, and our pre-fish wasn't that nice to us. So uh, we I don't think it was nice anyway with the weather we were faced with. We had a limited amount of spaces that we could work with, so we did what we we could, and I think we got 110% out of what we, we knew, so um, we feel good about it. I know you guys got a like, great support team behind you. Three pound fishing, you know, who would you guys like to thank to get you around to do this? The original Fish Formula is our main sponsor here for the Crappie Masters Elite Series, and they're fantastic. Great products, crappie formulation, bait pop, the paste. Uh, try it out, guys. It really does give you the edge on the water. Um, PTG out of Grenada, electronics, trolling motors, those type of things. Um, they've got your back. Give them a call. Uh, Cornfield fishing gear, fantastic mounts, all fishing, best net on the market, sniping grade, and of course, three pound fishing tackle. So, appreciate you guys. Shreveport, great town. Mike, anyone out there in the crowd or online watching, you want to say hi or thank you too? Well, I want to thank Coffee Masters for being able to scramble so fast since we could not go to Cross Lake. That had to be really tough. So, you guys did a great job for doing that. On a personal level, I want to thank the good Lord that we all live in a place in this world where we have the freedoms to do this. I especially want to thank the veterans who fight for our freedoms. You guys see a veteran out there, shake their hands, tell them thank you. They're greatly underappreciated. Definitely spot on there. We couldn't do any of this without them. Great event for you guys. Matt and Mike, we'll see you guys at the next one. Well, I guess they ended, I'm going to tell you guys, we ended up in 26th spot, which is exactly what our goal was to end up right in the middle for this first event. We knew Louisiana was going to be a challenge. So I want to thank Mike Geiger, my partner. Um, we had a great time together. Mike's an extremely hard worker and he makes me a better angler. So I, I'm very appreciative of him. And uh, I can tell you right now, we kind of knew Louisiana was going to be our difficult stop. Uh, but we enjoyed making new friends and we think the world of the Crappie Masters Elite Series, without a doubt, it is top of the food chain. Everywhere you look, there was a good stick. So we can't wait till you follow. And I think this whole process is going to make us just that much better. But I'm not going to lie. I'm glad to be back in Southern Illinois. If you're interested in a guide trip, hook, you know, give me a call. Check me out. 618-694-5162 is the phone number. And I'll be working hard until the next event. And I cannot wait to get to you follow. Thanks, guys. Please subscribe.